considering example two then, very often in a goodness of fit test on the contingency table, what we're testing is whether there's an association between two uh, different criteria. So uh, between um, being treated or not treated and by a drug and whether there has been relief um, from symptoms. Okay, so testing to see whether there's an association between the two or testing whether there's independence between the two is the same thing. It's just um, how you conclude the outcome that's important. So null and alternative treatment and relief are independent. It's always that way around. And alternative treat and relief are not independent. Hence, there's an association. Okay, so the wording um, is... Um, referring to the alternative hypotheses, but it's the null hypotheses that we're testing is always for independence or no association. We have our observed values then, um, and we've got our totals. So to work out our expected, then we use our totals. So for example, uh, to work out the first cell, it's 50 times 60, 50, uh, times sorry 60 times 50 uh, all divided by our grand total of 200 so that gives us 15 and then similar for the other four cells to give us our expecteds then we've got our expecteds and we've got our observed we check to see that none of the expecteds are less than five which they're not and then um, we perform the goodness of fit test in the usual way. So we get our goodness of fit stat. Uh, we compare it to our critical region. So uh, in this case, our degrees of freedom, two minus one, we've got a two by two um, contingency table. So our degrees of freedom is one, our critical value, 3.841. So we do not reject because our uh, goodness of fit stat is smaller than our critical region. So there is no reason to believe there is an association. The data supports the idea of independence between the two criteria. And that concludes then all of our different types of um, chi-squared tests, our goodness of fit tests. Um, so there's similarities between each of them, um, but the way that we um, establish what our expected values are uh, depends on uh, the nature of the original distribution, uh, or in this most recent example, um, we need to use the contingency table idea. But once we've got our observed and we've got our expected, the goodness of fit or chi-squared hypothesis test plays out in the same way each time.